As a full-time student and content creator, I really care about efficiency as both require a lot of time and effort. I want to share with you all some equipment that I have been using to help me study and create content flexibly. The first one is Moss Laptop Carry Sleeve which has a 3-in-1 design as a protective sleeve, ergonomic stand, as well as storage for carry-on essentials. My one is in the colour Seafoam but there are other colours available which you can choose from according to your preferences. In terms of the design, the sleeve itself is made of vegan leather, a strong fiberglass with an expandable compartment for you to carry power cables, notepads, etc. As you can see, it has an invisible stand with dual angle adjustments for you to find the ideal level for work. I find that this helps me to improve my posture, even when I'm in a public place. So it helps me to work anywhere more easily. So super versatile and you can really adjust it to your personal preferences for work. I recently had to change my old iPhone 11 to the 15 Pro and as you're probably aware I basically film everything with it. With this in mind Moft kindly sent me over their creator kit which includes their snap phone case, phone stand and wallet, lanyard as well as their new snap on invisible tripod which have been super useful. Starting off with the lanyard, this is super convenient and secure for when I want to shoot things outdoors for example in London streets where it can get quite dangerous with the risk of phone snatching. For the phone case, this is made of really good quality vegan leather which complements a snap on wallet which I like to insert my student Oyster card for ease of use. I can easily switch between the snap wallet and tripod stand by carrying them both in my bag as they're both pretty slim. And finally the invisible tripod stand which looks pretty basic but as you can see it is super compact but once unfolded it is very functional. It has so many modes that you can utilise and you can even place your phone both horizontally and vertically. So it's super versatile for not just vlogging, but simple things like FaceTiming, dual screens, etc. As a mess student content creator, I can't necessarily carry around tripods and cameras with me everywhere. And I can't lie, I still find it difficult to film in public. So the fact that these accessories are pretty small makes it less noticeable to the others making my life so easy by allowing me to continue content creating wherever I am without compromising the experience for me. So it's a new year now and my fifth year mess school is definitely going to get busier. However, I really don't want to have my studies compromising my love for content creating and vice versa. So I definitely think I'm on a good start with these items. I'm actually thinking of perhaps incorporating more study with me videos this year because I actually do need to work and it's a way for me, I guess, to not get distracted. If any of you guys are interested in trying out Moft, please make sure to check the link in the description box below and use my code HIGHON10 for 10% discount.
bit of time for you as a team, which is usually... psychiatric assessment, including mental state examination of patients presenting with a low mood, and then also to be aware of the main class as well. Cause baby love So I wrote down a list of 23 things that I want to thank 2023 for. They're not in any particular order and I won't expand on them too much, but I thought it would be nice to share them with you. So starting off with number one, thank you 2023 for all the morning coffees and yogurt bowls that have sustained me every morning, for having the opportunity to study business management and graduating with people I love for the new friendships, relationships and partnerships formed, for development and new skills, being more open and confident, having my own personal space to grow, so this is my second year living out, for seeing parts of the world of friends and family, for pruning and growth in my faith and relationship with God, for realising the want to strive for quality, for new opportunities and doors that have opened and closed, for being fine just being by myself, for waking up every morning with the strength to live each day, for becoming more honest with myself and others, for being able to pursue my creative side through YouTube, sharing my memories, etc. For all of you guys, for prioritisation, for being brave and trying out new things, for all the new coffee shops explored throughout the year, for wholesome movie nights, for going to the gym and taking care of my physical health, for healing in relationships, for family, for seeing nature in its pure form, and finally for the endurance and perseverance that has allowed me to see God's works throughout the year. So I'm sure there are a lot more, but these are the top 23 that came to my mind. I also have two words that I'm carrying forward with me in 2024, and those are quality and attitude. I think for me personally, I really just want to live to the full potential that God has created me throughout 2024. But yeah, I hope you guys can also just take some time to sit down with pen and paper, with your laptop, with your phone, coffee, tea, whatever, and just reflect on how you personally got on with 2023 and get the opportunity to realise, self-pat on the back, self-motivate, etc. 2023 might have been great for some people, it might have been not so great, but like I always say to myself and my friends, um, life is a beautiful struggle and I really hope that this new year um, can become a really special one for all you guys. I am going to end the vlog here, thanks for sticking around till the end and I'll see you guys in my next video. Cause baby, like, ooh, it's all